Oh, we were young then. Yeah. yeah. Now it's like. <laughs> You Jeez. saying this, I'm saying this. I see some shit. <laughs> so my guest today is Lala Anthony. Hi. Oh, great. I met Lala a couple of years ago. We were at a dinner. We're in Hudson Yards on this big, wide, kind of modern table, and we're all kind of away from each other. There was a lot of corporate people there and, and all that kind of stuff. And you were sitting across from me, but you were sitting next to my fiance, Brandon. Yeah, and, that's and that's you my two, guy. Go, go, run away, be happy. Uh, <laughs> you and I were talking across the um, the table. I just thought, what a good soul. And especially at those kind of dinners, which you could just be like, here's my obligation. And, Let me do my 30 minutes and leave. And you didn't, and you were really happy to be there. And I, I remember being very, very struck by your character. And then we like swapped numbers. Yes. <laughs> The rest is history. Um, so now Brandon, uh, Lala, and I are a thruple. <laughs> is that what a thruple? Oh my gosh, yeah. my first time hearing that. We're a thruple. <laughs> okay, we're going to do something called 10 firsts, where I just ask, like, sort of off the, off the cuff, just like quick, quick things to rest. Okay. Okay, first drink you order. A shot of Patron. <laughs> I'm a I savage. Just love I really don't love the taste of alcohol, so if I'm gonna drink, it's gonna be shots. It's 1942, it's Patron, it's Don Julio, it's all of that, it's shots, because three shots, you're gonna catch a quick buzz, and you're the life of the party, and you're ready to go, instead of just sipping on these little cocktails all night. Efficient. Efficient. And I'm this efficient. is why she's a robot. I love how you put three shots right, in and you're ready to go. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> First thing you look at on your phone in the morning. Oh, the daily word is just, you know, to be a Bible verse or just something coming from a Bible verse that, that talks about the day and what to think about during the day. I'll go there before Instagram and everything else. Because if I go straight to Instagram, it, it gets a little tricky. First personal people you call? My mom. I mean, my mom, she just gets it. She just gets me. And sometimes in the most complicated times of my life, she gives me easy answers. It's like sometimes we overthink things. But my mom just brings it back to like, well, remember when this happened and how you dealt with that? So my mom just has a way of just making it all feel relatable and making me figure it out. Everyone's like, your mom should write a book of like her one-liners because she has the best one-liners. I know, that's your next book, like Power of My Mom. Her my friend was going through it. like a breakup recently and called my mom like, you know, I miss him so much. What, what do I do? She's like, oh, just think about like if he was in the military and like he's never coming home again. Just think about like you never, <laughs> I was just like, mom, what? You know what? I am gonna think he's somewhere far away and I'm just not gonna Or he's just like too <laughs> tense. Don't worry about him, he's, he sadly died. <laughs> First fashion splurge. When I was on the radio, Ludacris was on the radio as well. Back then he was called Chris Leva Leva, but he started like this rap group called Disturbing the Peace. That was like the crew and I wanted to be part of the crew so bad. And I remember putting like this little pendant that said Disturbing the Peace on layaway at the jewelry store. And every time I got paid, I would put like $20 on it, another $30. And I just kept, you know, paying off of it till I finally paid it off. And then I just felt so proud. Like, oh, I'm part of this. This is a teenager. I'm like, I'm part of Disturbing the Peace. Do you still have it? Yes. <laughs> just next time, just, just wear it. Just, yeah, just, just, exactly. Just First time you owned your shit. Oh, this is this is deep. First time I owned my shit. Probably transitioning from being a television host into acting and, and maybe having a thought that oh, I could do it because I said I want to do it and realizing like, no, you got to work at this. Like no one's going to give you this. You have to go to class and you have to do this. So I had to own the fact that I couldn't just swindle my way in there. No fake ID that said I was 18 was just going to get me, you know, in yep. the door. And I think it was like, no, this is for real. So that's a moment I, I could think of. Um, as a parent, I could think of owning my shit where I've just been like, I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm just trying to do the best. But I don't know what I'm doing. And what I don't want to do is fuck my kid up because of my <laughs> own issues and insecurities. There are times where you really are just winging it. In marriage as well, understanding like, I might not have this thing, you know, figured all the way out. And mm -hmm. it's owning that is hard. And I always say, you know, anyone who says it's not as is lying and they're not being truthful. Mm. I'm not perfect, I'm flawed, I'm a flawed human being. <laughs> I feel like that emoji, like <laughs> Your first date. It probably wasn't a real date, but it was in, in high school and I thought mm. it was just so cool because it was like in the ninth or 10th grade and going out with like somebody in the 12th grade and that was just so cool. I remember uh, my mom dropping me off to the movies and was like, I'm gonna go 
do some shopping and come back and pick you up or something like that. I thought it was just like the coolest thing to get dropped off at the movies Aww. before I started like sneaking around and doing it on my own. But back yeah. then I was like, oh, this is so cool. And we sat and probably barely said even two words to each other. It was just like super stiff watching the movie like. We were young then. Yeah. yeah. Now it's like. <laughs> You Games. saying this, I'm saying this. I'm saying some shit. <laughs> I'm like in the gummy box. <laughs> First favorite Instagram filter. I like Paris. You know, when you take the picture and you just swipe it over once and all of a sudden. But the thing about Paris <laughs> is sometimes you're too smooth. Everything is just yeah. too perfect. It's like, wait, is there like a half Paris that it just doesn't completely wipe me? I mean, put it this way. We'll always have Paris. <laughs> <laughs> Did you try on this Zoom, like, touch up my appearance thing? I, like, I didn't even know you could do something on Zoom. No, look at me. It's gonna, I'm gonna get really freaky looking. You ready? How? Look at that. I look like an avatar. When I just went to my touch up your appearance, the bar was already all the way. <laughs> First thing you do or eat when you're stressed. A Nestle Crunch. I am obsessed with chocolate and, and Nestle Crunch is my go-to for everything. When I'm stressed, Nestle Crunch. If I'm happy, Nestle Crunch. If I'm horny, Nestle Crunch. <laughs> and literally, Laura, what's so funny is my friends or anyone who knows me, they'll come in the house, they won't even say hi, they just like hand me a Nestle Crunch. I have so much Nestle Crunch in my, in my cabinet, it's unreal. First car you bought? A Volkswagen Jetta, which oh, cute. was it was in bad shape. I remember being on the highway again as a teenager, and it was raining, so I put my windshield wipers on. I'll never forget my windshield wipers flew off the entire car, like they flew off the car, and I was like, oh my god, it's raining. I had to pull over, wait for the rain to stop. Shout out to Volkswagen Jetta, you held me down in, in the early stages of my life, and I appreciate you. Okay, finally, the first thing you'll do when this goddamn pandemic is over. Party like I've never partied before with no mask and hug the people I love like I've never hugged and kissed them before and just have the moment of being so grateful for the love and family and people in my life. I just want to throw like a big ass party. Yeah, just I want to climb on people that I don't know on the street. Right, it's just... I feel you. I feel you. Just grab people up and just, I love you. I love just, you. Just, just that. Just mount them. Yes. <laughs> well, well, Anthony, you're the best. I, I again, I, you, you know, are. You are uh, a tremendous example to to young women, and you. uh, and I know you look out for them. And you're Thank a great you. mom. And you're a freaking robot. And you have three tequilas just to start off. <laughs> Thank you for having Thank me. I really so enjoyed talking to you. I love you. I love Brandon. You guys know that. I can't wait to see you guys soon and have three tequilas. Three tequilas. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching 10 First. I hope you liked it. If you did, click the subscribe button. This is me clicking uh, below or like or anything to validate me personally. And uh, stick around for next week when we'll get more juicy.